Alright guys, what is going on? It's Jacob here. We're back at this table. It's been a while. It feels good though, and I will be coming back to you from this point, in this chair, each week for the next nine weeks. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Oh. Now, it's nine weeks out as of today from the South Australian Natural Bodybuilding Titles. I actually haven't decided what division I am going to compete in, but I will be competing. I will be jumping up on stage for the third time in my third different uh, federation and in my first natural federation. So I'm really excited about that. This video is going to cover, you know, how I expect my training to go, um, my, you know, training routine structure, um, supplements as well as diet and um, I'm going to obviously do a weigh-in and um, I'll, I'll be doing all of those things each week coming into the show just to give you guys some updates as well as you know other vlogs with with training and with you know travel and other things that I'm doing but but this is going to be like a weekly vlog for my subscribers that are actually interested in you know my show I do realize that with the other content I'm putting out now um, I'm going to be getting subscribers from all walks of life and not everyone is going to be interested in this, but I will be coming in in the best shape of my life, and this is exactly how I'm going to do it. So, as of today, I don't know what I weigh. What I'm going to do right now is jump up and go and get on the scale, so we'll see what I'm at. Okay, so that is the starting point, obviously. 198.6 pounds. That is around about 89 kgs, I believe. It may be a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but it's a pretty accurate morning weigh-in. Last night, I had my final cheat meal after I made that video um, out in the darkness, updating you guys after it had been about three months since my last video. So, you know, I went out, I got a McDonald's meal. It was great, yes, but this morning I felt like shit because of it. But I said to myself, you know, I'm going to be starting these vlogs with you guys as, as of nine weeks out. So I'm, I'm going to have to have a cheat meal because as of today, I'm starting my fitness pal. One thing I will say is where I've got to right now, I've done it without a single macro, a single calorie tract. And my opinion of clean eating versus if it fits your macros has, has changed recently. And I, I do believe that if you do stick to clean foods and you don't overeat, you're going to lose weight and you're going to get lean. Um, to a certain point. Now, I've been at this point where I'm at right now for a little while. Um, I have broken a plateau that I was at previously at around about 91 kgs, and now I'm down to about 89, but I am at another plateau, and I do realize that I need to start knuckling down, need to start tracking things, and that is what I'm going to be starting as of today. So I haven't had any food. All I've had is a coffee, weighed in at 198.6 pounds. So that is, that's day one, baby. That's day one, nine weeks out. Now, as far as training goes, I won't be changing a lot at all. I'll be sticking to my at least once, if not twice a week for each muscle group. Depending on my schedule, obviously, I may have to couple two muscle groups together. I may have to couple three muscle groups together. Um, I've covered that in another video. You know, what is your best sort of training split as to your daily schedule as to your goals. What, how many times do you want to hit each muscle group? Do you want to bring up a muscle group? Let one go for a little bit. If you've overtrained front delts, for example, for years and years, it's not going to harm you not training front delts for a few months. You know, you're going to retain that muscle. You're still going to use the front delts with chest, um, etc. So, training will be, you know, staying exactly the same. I'll be, I will be getting leaner because of that. I will be feeling, you know, my joints a little bit more. Uh, pain in my joints a little bit more and to combat that I will be taking fish oil every single day I'll be taking you know five to ten grams of fish oil that will make up five to ten grams of my fat content as well as that I'll be taking creatine on a daily basis which I haven't been which is totally stupid I think in the back of my mind I was scared that it was going to bloat me and I wouldn't be able to see you know where I was at um, as far as my midsection goes but I have taken creatine in the past and you know recently and all it did was was shoot my number up on the scales maybe a pound or two and um, it didn't really do too much to my midsection so I will be taking creatine 5 to 10 grams a day fish oil 5 to 10 grams a day I've got 
a magnesium and a zinc supplement that's on the way. I've ordered it, as well as some other stuff, so I'll be showing you guys when I get that package, but I'll be also taking magnesium and zinc um, for, you know, muscle soreness, for recovery, and things like that. So that is supplements. Um, that's training. I, as far as training goes, I'll be, you know, I'm not going to be lightening the weight. I may do a few more sort of supersets, um, high rep sort of sets, at probably at the end of a workout, but certainly in the first two, you know, one or two movements, I'll be hitting that, you know, six, seven sets with two warm up sets and four working sets, balls to the wall with a drop set to finish um, on a nice heavy compound movement, you know, to do with whatever muscle group that I'm doing at the time. So that's how I'm going to train. That's my SUPS. And as far as diet goes, guys, um, as I said, I've got to where I'm at with completely clean eating. Um, not so much clean eating, but I, I haven't been tracking anything. And the two things that have remained the same in the back of my head is, is I've tried to hit a protein amount. So, you know, I've been hitting... Sorry about that, guys. The camera shut off. Now, as I was saying, the two things I've kept constant in my clean eating, you know, no tracking sort of diet has been protein and overall calories. So, you know, clean eating, my, my opinion on clean eating has changed, I'm not going to lie. Um, I, I believe it does work. If you stick to clean foods and you don't overeat, you're most probably going to get leaner than where you are. But there comes a certain point where I'm at right now, uh, where tracking needs to come into play. You know, when you're getting around that 10% body fat mark where I think I'm at right now, if I do want to knuckle down and sort of start really getting into that stubborn, stubborn fat that never wants to go away, I'm going to have to start tracking and making sure that I have concrete numbers right in front of me and knowing why I'm getting the results I am. Because right now it's just a guessing game. So, you know, as far as diet goes, okay, what I'm going to plan on doing and what I have been doing recently, I've, I've been hitting 250 grams of protein. So as I said, that's the one number I've kept constant. I do believe, you know, at my body weight of 200 pounds, I think when you're in a cut, when you're in a deficit, the protein amount can sort of, you can bump it up a little bit. The last thing you want to be doing is losing muscle mass uh, when you're cutting. So as far as, you know, numbers in my diet goes, I think that protein is pretty much going to remain the same as where it has been. Um, it's around about 250 grams a day. Now, I do believe when you're in a, when you're in a surplus with those extra calories, I think protein you can sort of bring down a little bit. But I do believe that when you're in a deficit um, and a heavy deficit at that, I think you can raise your protein amount to, you know, 1.2 grams per pound of body weight, something like that. And that's where I've been at. So as far as looking into the future, as far as how I'm going to structure my macros, I'll give you some concrete numbers right now. So we're going 250 grams of protein a day. We're going 250 grams of carbs a day. Now, I know that up until this point, I have been eating probably at least 300, maybe a slight bit more of carbs per day. But what I have been doing is limiting my fat. So I'm basically going to you know, keep going with the same sort of structure, but I'm going to start tracking it. So protein's 250, carbs is 250, that's 2,000 calories all up. Now, total calories, I want to, if I want to break through this plateau that I'm at at the moment and continue you know, cutting down towards the show, I believe that I'm going to need to lower my calories to around about 25, 2600. And I'm going to see where I'm at for this first week. If I continue to drop weight at 2600, well, that's fantastic. But it may be too high. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I don't know where I'm at. So that's why I really need to, to start tracking it and get this shit rolling. So let's do the maths. 250 grams of protein is 1000 calories. 250 grams of carbs is 1000 calories. That's 2000 total. I've got 600 to play with. What's a gram of fat? That's nine calories, so seven, nine, 63. That's 630 calories for 70 grams of fat. So, let's say that, all right, 250 carb, 250 protein, 70 fat. That is where I'm gonna be at. I believe that's gonna put me in a great position to continue to, to diet down. Obviously, as far as cardio goes, um, I've been probably hitting about 30 to 60 minutes, three, maybe four times a week if I'm feeling motivated. But then, you know, a bad habit of mine is I'll make an excuse later in the night that I've done that cardio and then I'll go and eat that 500 extra calories. So from now on, I will be doing cardio five times a week. I'm gonna be burning 500 calories each session. So that's an extra 2,500 calories that I'll be burning each week. 
Um, as far as different types of cardio, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to make sure I burn 500 calories each session five times a week going forward from here. So that's it, guys. That's the game plan. I can't wait. I've got my brother and I and Dylan down in, down in Adelaide waiting for me, waiting for me to jump up on stage with him, which I cannot wait for. He's fucking killing it. I know, you look, I know you're watching this, bro, and you're looking awesome. You're looking better than I am, so you're motivating the hell out of me. I can't wait to get down there and have a few fucking shredded workouts with you and jump up on stage and have a great day. It's going to be awesome. So I know that with other videos that I've put out, um, I'm going to be getting people from all walks of life coming to my channel. I do realize that competing on a bodybuilding stage is not for everyone, and I didn't think it was going to be for me. Um, but I do love it. I love the grind, I love the thought of the journey of building a physique and showing it off because there's no point hiding it all the time. You may as well show it off once in a while. So that's what we're going to do. Tune in next week for the 8 weeks out video. 7 weeks out I'm actually going to be in Thailand, which is going to be sweet, but I'll just certainly be updating you on how things go over there and into the future. So thank you very much for watching. Subscribe for more if you haven't. Plenty more videos to come. Train hard, eat well, have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.